Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It's a vlog today and this video was taken quite a few days back that was last Saturday. It took a while for me to edit as I was busy editing my previous video so that's why the delay. There are few recipes included. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. I actually woke up to a phone call from my husband saying he and kids were out. I had slept quite late last night so he didn't want to wake me up before leaving so nobody was at home only me. They had already done their breakfast from outside, so I prepared myself an egg sandwich. some garlic powder onion powder sweet paprika black pepper powder and salt some mozzarella cheese When I'm lazy, I make tea first preparing little dark black tea and then add some hot water along with some milk. laundry time
The living room is in a disorder, but I am not cleaning today as it was an off day for me. My fridge needs a declutter. I am getting a lot of requests on fridge organization. I shall be doing a video on that soon. Getting everything ready for the lunch preparation. Now that's coconut, fresh one, transferring it to a big box, it makes a lot more easier. I'm keeping some aside for grinding, that's for the curry for lunch. Now this box goes straight into the freezer. Putting all the vegetables in water for some time. Meantime I am cleaning the fish. Now this fish has a wonderful name Sultan Ibrahim. I love the taste of it too, so do my kids. It was in big size so I am taking only two. My husband is not a fish lover. I am not frying it though, making a fish curry with it. Usually we get the fish cleaned but today they had to come back soon so that's why my husband did wait for it. That's green chilies, spreading it just for the moisture to dry for storing it. I'm making a Kerala style curry with lady's finger. This is my kids one of their favorite curries. Chopping two tomatoes, slitting two green chilies, some curry leaves, then goes one and a half tablespoon of red chilli powder, one teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 tablespoon of coriander powder, salt, just half to 1 teaspoon of fennel seed powder. Add just a little water and squeeze it well with your hands. Then add enough water, say around 2 cups of water and keep for cooking. Chopping to a medium size. That's bitter guard. Mm -hmm. 
Once the tomatoes are well cooked, add the lady's finger into it. Now that's black chana. I'm soaking for next day breakfast curry. Adding the bitter gourd into a vessel along with that 2 to 3 green chilies, some salt, and some water. Let it cook till it's done. Grinding the coconut for curry along with shallots and garlic. It's all cooked now, so adding the coconut grind and let it boil. Adding some more water. Now for the fish, I'm adding 3 tablespoons of fish masala to a bowl and making a paste adding little water. Now if you don't have fish masala, you could make a paste with 2 tablespoons of red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon turmeric powder and half teaspoon coriander powder. I'm crushing few garlic cloves and a small piece of ginger. Then heat some coconut oil. To this add quarter teaspoon of fenugreek seeds or methi seeds. Then add some curry leaves. Then saute the crushed ginger and garlic and let the raw smell go. Then goes in the paste. Now roast the paste well in the pan for at least 5 to 6 minutes. If you feel the paste is getting dry, add very little water at a time and roast again. Then finally add 1 cup water. Some salt. When it just start to boil, add garnish here. It's for the soreness. You can add tamarind too. Then after a minute, add in the fish pieces. Do not mix with a spatula. Cover and let it cook till the fish is done. Meanwhile seasoning the bitter gourd. Heat some coconut oil. Adding some shallots crushed and some curry leaves. While onto the other burner, keeping a pan for seasoning the curry. Again adding shallots crushed and some curry leaves to heated coconut oil. Here then goes the bitter gourd and mix well for 5 to 10 minutes. This is how we have been eating bitter gourd since very long time like in childhood. There is no much masala in it. Do let me know how you prepare this vegetable.
If there's fish curry for lunch, I stick on to only that. Stopped at Almas restaurant for tea and snacks. We recently bought two mugs to fill in tea to avoid plastic or any disposable glass. Just a piece of cake and banana fritter. back home now I don't follow any strict evening skincare routine if I have come back from outside I give a quick wash to my face with gram flour or basin just make a paste adding some water lightly massage onto your face and wash Then my skin becomes a little dry after using this, so I apply my moisturizer as well. That's a curry for breakfast. Shall show the recipe in another video. Most probably in a tiffin recipe video. I have few more coming up. That's green chilies all dry. Taking out the top part from it. If you get any chilies that's spoiled, don't add it along with the rest. It will make the other chilies go bad too. Adding a bunch of tissue under. Then goes in the chilies. Again on top adding some tissue paper. It was so lovely to receive messages from many of my viewers asking me to take care of my hands. So I have just added a habit of applying some Vaseline onto my hands and feet before bedtime. Morning when I wake up my hands are much softer. I have seen my mother doing this from a very long time. And that ends today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. If so please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I have been receiving a lot of comments these days from new subscribers. Thank you so much to everyone. Keep supporting, keep sharing. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.